Okay, welcome back. Um, beef. After the last video ended, I clicked around and I saw that there was some training here. It said it was shared training, um, so I didn't know what that really meant, but I clicked it and it just finished instantly. So what it did was it gave me the Tiamat, which has a capacity of eight. It's a little slower, but a more range and more durable. So this thing will be nice to have for my next um, next ship, especially as I get more soldiers. Uh, the other thing is it gave me this guy, who it, I think is another one of these. Pretty sure. Yeah, they have the same symbol. Um, I forget where it tells me like what the name of their class is. Let's see it. Oh, priest. Okay. Um, alright, so we have that going on. That guy will need some armor. Oh, I also noticed that they did not give me any of the weapons and stuff from that raid I did, so that's a bummer. I was hoping to get their sniper rifles and crap like that, but Say la vie. Uh, so then the other thing is, we'll go into the research, we'll see what equipment they give us. Oh. Oh, so it's not like wonderful shit. Uh, the Exalted teaches that while the Pandora virus was sent by the dead god, it is not to be worshipped. The Pandoran plague, sometimes referred to as a great flood, is a punishment for humanity's sins and an opportunity for self improvement. Fighting the Pandorans is an essential part of humanity's path to a better future. That is why the Disciples of Anu have developed their own equipment to instill pride and faith among its warriors. Interesting. So I didn't necessarily need to reverse engineer that. Uh, the religion. Okay, the Exalted teaches us that the source of human suffering is that the perfect human souls are trapped in imperfect human bodies. Humanity is insufficiently evolved, and the flaws inherent in our current biology are the cause of the terrible things our history is so full of. The Pandora virus is both a form of divine punishment and an opportunity for the faithful to biologically improve themselves. These principles are set down in the Gospel of the Exalted, which also foretells the coming uh, liturgy of the divine flesh. In this catalogical event that the disciples must prepare for. It is important to note that the disciples do not worship the Pandorans or the Pandora virus, but see them as obstacles to be overcome on the road to biological perfection. Okay. Berserker class. Uh, according to the Exalted, the Berserkers represent another step towards the perfection of the human body. Their enhanced combat abilities and greater tolerance for radical mutation are a manifestation of the soul, the warrior embodied in each of them. That is that which is best within them. Uh, a new pamphlet claims the desire to fight and sacrifice for the greater good has now been given biological expression. In keeping with Anu uh, methods, the rhetoric disguises significant advances in biotechnology and careful strategic planning. The Berserker soldier class was developed to counteract certain weaknesses in the Anu military, as perceived by Taxiarch Nurgle and the Blind Legate. Uh, but the technologies and training protocols involved will prove just as useful to the Phoenix Project. Okay, sweet. Uh, hand cannon. Wow, 100 damage? Holy shit. Damn, dude. Okay. Help it. Okay, great. Uh, mutation technology. Awesome. Day's immunity. Stomper legs. <laughs> nice. So this must be like their version of a heavy. Perception, stealth, accurate, up accuracy though. Interesting. Uh, regenerate 10 hit points to all injured body parts and general hit points each turn. 
uh, reduces the effect of fire damage by half. Awesome. Okay. Negative two speed. Down in accuracy. All right, so this technology represents a first step towards mastering the mutation mechanics of the Pandora virus. Test subjects have been injected with modified strains of the infection under carefully controlled conditions. With the additional of a chemical cocktail intended to keep the virus from asserting control over the subject. The process is still experimental and there may be some side effects, but the potential benefits for our soldiers are worth the risk. Damn! Advanced melee weapons. Well, those aren't that great. Through experimentation with different melee weapons and offensive and defensive techniques adapted by adapted from a variety of existing close quarters combat styles, a new set of melee weapons has been developed. Uh, it still takes two action points, but it doesn't do that much damage. This is piercing. Not sure, that must just get it through armor. This will give bleed. Interesting. Okay, the priest. The Anu priest, technically called the Hieris of the Prophet of the Dead God, is supposed to be an extension of the will of the Exalted, guided in protecting the people of her name. To this end, they have been granted sacred forms of mutation and various holy powers, such as the ability to control the minds of the weak and to manipulate the mist. However, underneath the religious terminology lies an ingenious combination of advanced tech and specialized training put together by the Exalted and her closest advisor, Taxiarch Nurgle. Uh, we now have a complete understanding of the methods involved in training this class of soldier and can apply them as necessary. Screaming Head Reduce the will of all enemies in a eight tile radius. Judgment head instills frenzy in friendly characters within twenty tiles for two turns, increasing their speed by fifty percent and making them immune to panic. Synod head, radiant hope, living allied units within seven tiles recover two points. Okay, so that's the one that I already have. Um Amphian body armor. So basically increases perception. That's about it. Leg armor. Also perception. And the virus rifle. Fungal food production. Food production facilities increase output by 25%. Nice. A new breed of crops has been developed based on a highly modified version of the fungi used in traditional Anu uh, method of transubstantiating. The bodies of the dead in the fields of transubstantiation. Capable of thriving in nearly any conditions, the new fungal crops are capable of producing virus-free nutrition in large quantities. The fungi will also prove useful in improving our own food output. Nice. Okay, new items. Perceptor head. It's 14 perception. Nice. Stealth plus 20 accuracy. Holy fuck. Okay, electric kick. Uh, the day, day's target if shock value is greater than the target's hit point. 12 armor, pretty stealth. Okay, tentacle torso, uh, perform melee attack and apply paralyzed damage. Tentacle re melee repost with tentacles in response to nearby enemy attacks. Interesting. Armor 16. Speed, perception, stealth down. Eight. Multiple new mutations have been developed, allowing humans to become faster, more agile, and have power to stun enemies in battle. These new procedures are now available at the Mutation Laboratory. Alright, so I think that's everything they got from 
uh, mutagen harvesting. Okay, a method of extracting mutagens, captured Pandorans, is being devised. The process is still in its infancy, but should, be, should it be successful, it would provide us virtually endless source of mutagens. Nice. Okay. Oh, but I can reverse engineer this shit. Fuck yeah, I'm going to. want to uh, push this shit up that thing is gonna be very useful it can be after this skillia all right um equipment and look at all this shit uh, armor Um, and I don't know. I might have to look at these. I'll uh, I'll pause the video while I check these out because I do need to get that guy some armor. Okay, so I was thinking about it, and I was looking at the acolyte armor. I like the speed increase. It's kind of low on armor, but speed is nice. Um. I'm thinking what I might do is I'll save my equipment for now, um, or materials. What I will do is I need to build a handgun. Is it? Got the virus rifle. It's wrath. So effective range is 11, so it's kind of shitty accuracy, looks like. Yeah, I mean, it's not that much worse, though. 100 damage, man. That may not be bad for a heavy to have if he's going to fly next to people, even if he's not proficient. Okay, and then vehicles, I don't have enough for that. Alright, let's see. Um, what's left? So, and of core one, you have some injuries. Looks like between the two of them, I should be able to pause and do, do. explore explore okay, nature's dominion Peter Town. Sanhedrin have haven of Peterloo Town is in an uproar over a book, Nature's Dominion. It's a new philosophical novel by uh, Yavenga Lu, which depicts, humani depicts humanity's struggle against hierarchies, concluding that the idea of nature itself is the ultimate hierarchy that must be defeated to guarantee humankind's freedom. Some critics accuse the book of advocating human supremacy, idea the author herself doesn't find problematic in the slightest, gladly calling herself a human su supremacist. In a democratic society such as Sanhedrin, such debates have a real effect on the future policy, especially in the current situation. Is the ultimate goal harmony with nature or liberation from nature? The answer to this question determines not only what Sanhedrin should do about the Pandora virus, but also, what should be done if humanity ever finds itself in control of this planet again? For now, of course, it's just a discussion about a book, but the citizens of Peterloo Town are curious. Where does the Phoenix Project stand? Um, well, I'm trying to be cool with Disciples of Anu.
This seems kind of anui, but yeah, Sinedrian didn't like that. Haven Leader didn't like that. <laughs> Disciples of Anu did. Okay, the Phoenix Project believes that the question of humanity's relationship to nature is too simplistic if we understand humanity to mean static concept of Homo sapiens in this current stage of development. If we take humanity to be a more fluid concept, then we can understand that the question is not really about nature, but about ourselves. It is we who have stopped evolving, we who must start moving again. Interesting. Um, could just steal your shit. Sneedrian constructs the most human centered civilian amenities as an example of to create. Military strength is nine. Ooh. Might be a little stiff. Um, yeah, fuck you. We'll take it. Sinedrian won't like that. Haven Leader really won't like that. Threat level extreme. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Um, New Jericho will like that. So I guess that means if I beat up on New Jericho, they might be a little cool with me. Construction complete. Bases. Alright, so probably needed a mutation lab. Uh, we were building containment. Yeah, we had that. So let's do the mutation lab here then. So I'm assuming if I have more mutation labs, it'll go quicker. Not positive about that. To repair this, I guess. Let's need repairs. Don't need a training facility here. Actually, that may not have been smart. Is Phoenix Point my training hub? I just have one. Oh, that's right. That was a different playthrough I was doing. So there's a training facility here. This has a lot of space. Medical Bay. Crap. Yeah, because if you double up like uh, training facilities you can get a bonus and just leave guys there yikes uh, so maybe that will be my training facility hub they have energy Yeah, fuck it. Uh, I have an access lift. Oh, I didn't have that one on repair either. Okay, whatever. Here, it's probably fine to split up a little bit. 
Okay, summary of this. Gilead is something like a Pandoran battleship with multiple weapons and defense systems and critical command and control abilities. It's certainly highly intelligent and seems to be responsible for the increasing strength of the Pandoran attacks on Havens. Many of its mutations seem to be oriented towards abduction of human populations rather than outright massacre. It is absolutely essential that we capture a live specimen even though it will be extremely dangerous task. Yikes. Um, all right. Leadership, abduction, mass terror, demolition, uh, and still frenzy attack, frenzied attacks, dual smashers, dual melted cannons, mist launcher, sonic blast, goo launcher, deployment of mind fraggers. Damn. Um, Agile variant can leap over short distances. Fuck me. Okay. Minicore 1 is landed at an abandoned military base. This site is not on the old maps and databases. Looks like it was used to train and develop some sort of special operations unit dedicated to fighting the invaders. There's a lot of equipment we can use. All right. Materials. Guess that means we can repair you now. Um, probably get another training facility in here. Yeah, we might as well. I just start trading some food for tech and materials if I can as well. Oh, they have food to trade. Damn it all. They don't have... A sniper I could recruit. scan off too. Do have a Phoenix base here. Uh I don't have a med bay though. So they can rest up but they can't heal up. Yikes, um maybe it would be a good idea to have a med bay here. Kind of need a scan up here. Oh, hi. Okay. Shit. So this guy, he got nothing. Um, Half cover. Some fool. I'm here. Shotgun. Shit. Um. Get up here, take a shot. Moving to court and sprint back. Identifying target. You can take out the leg, maybe. Threat eliminated. Nice. He's got mad. 
add speed too. Gonna want to take shelter down here, I think. He's going to have a great shot. I can overwatch with, uh, uh watch with a melee weapon. I wonder. It's got a fucking launcher arm and a machine gun arm. What type are you? Oh, you're the same. I ain't good. He could really use dash. So I guess what I'll do is move him up. Yeah, I can't overwatch with that. But much like this. You let's get up here and take a shot. Yikes. Not great. And you can't throw for shit. So we'll do this instead. <laughs> oh, sir. All I need is a clear shot. Not getting through the armor with that. Maybe you will. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's see what the best angle is. Probably just right up in his face. Okay, good. Let's just get over here. We have an angle on that side too. You just wait. I probably should have switched him over to his assault rifle. I think he has return fire. Might have been useful. Uh, sir, stand by. Yipe. Yeah, I was a little concerned about that. <laughs> oh, and you can't heal yourself. You do have a med kit. I'm really struggling to keep you alive these days, my man. Go 
Gotta keep on pushing. We bleed out. Oh shit. shoot either you're not bleeding I'm that's on bad move. <laughs> okay <laughs> who else do we got um pushing on Gonna die, right? Taking aim. Hostile down. Reloading. Okay. You have a med kit, so maybe you can get over here. You're gonna have to help these assholes out. Oh, he just did a nice little ring around the rosy. He should have stayed put. He still got a block and ambush. God, you hurt bad, dude. Damn. You still bleeding? Oh, so it doesn't tell me unless I click on them. See, you're fine where you're at. I don't think there are any more Pandorans, so. Die in two turns. Can't do anything. All set. Five by five. Er. Okay, we're gonna try something. I'm move on you move. down here. I'm here, sir. And I heal you. In case this doesn't work, we'll heal him. Providing assistance. And what I wanted to try was to go into inventory, give this to Scout. Now, it's okay, so he has another one. Now he can use it. Let me take a look. I mean, this might be overly cautious because I don't think there are any more Pandorans around, sure. but. I mean, whatever. Moving to coordinates. Oh, fuck. There they are. Okay, so now I just need to bugger out. Uh, where do we do that? Here. All right, and you, sir, do you have any projectiles? Of course you do. Um. So you're useless. So you just, uh, run. Yeah, go no here. To waste. Now you 
can actually shoot. Now he probably has regeneration to all the parts. Paralyzing arm. Cause oh, handgun. It's a lot of open ground. On the move. Let's take a look, see what the shot is like. Uh, not good enough to justify. Moving to coordinates. One. Mine fragger. Of course. Alright, but maybe you're just gonna run here. Probably right there. Advancing. Yikes, okay. Um. You have. Okay, so you're another one of these. <laughs> Sir, just need to get the fuck out of Dodge best you can. Same thing with you. Fucking leg is gimped. Are these, like, seriously my only fighters right now? Here. Do it a little bit of an watch. Make sure they have to get sir. Actually, I'm more worried that the mine fragger can make it over here than anything else. So, yeah, we'll do something like that. Identifying target. Mad. God. If he hugs this wall. To get cover between me and them. Evacuate. Fucking mine fraggers. These aren't great shots. Two with a grenade. His throwing arm is shit, though. I wonder how much it 
damage a punch would even do. This could be a kill. She had a grenade though. I have one in inventory. So I could run up here and trade a grenade. Could just like get the fuck out of here. Uh, too close to that mind fragger. So maybe I could destroy his cover. Let's try that. Well, fuck me. Like, seriously? Um, did he have that, like, melee defense ability? Would that work on a Mindfragger? No, he's just level bullshit. Maybe I could, uh, pull back, get them out in the open. Just set up. Close range. Yeah, that'll be the plan. Get back. Do another short range overwatch. We get a mind fragger. Yeah, it's probably Sir, just need to get as far back as possible. Not sure, which side would be better? Probably right here, actually. Though he won't duck down if he's right there. Of the pole in between them. I don't know. Let's fuck it. Yeah, it really could have dog. Squishy noises. Jesus Christ, this guy's probably gonna end up getting left behind. Two shots, I could probably kill him. Oh, nope. <laughs> God, that's a shitty shot. Taking aim. Well, aren't these guys just 
in. I'm more worried about the mine fraggers at this point. This isn't gonna kill him, I'm sure. Oh, it disabled his leg. That is uh, great news. It's bleeding for 20. That'll kill him. Wonderful. Okay, <laughs> right, we're making progress. Identifying target. Now he has 190 health. This gun, I think, only does 50. Yeah. So four hits would kill him, but I'd have to hit every time. Doesn't seem likely. This that deals 100 B. Does 200 shock damage. Well, do that other mind fragger is though. Oh, between the two of these guys. Is his head, like... Hmm. 150 health. His mask must be like invulnerable. Disabled his leg. Fuck yes. Oh, that was brilliant. Okay. Damn it. Turn your head again. It's not going to disable his torso. Um, probably best to back up. You can make it in. Plug her out. Actually. Man, I could probably take his weapon, actually. But he'd have to get to me. Well, we'll just get into cover for now. That may be a stupid move, but... I oh, forgot he could fucking regenerate. God, he's gonna die. Yep, he's gonna bleed out. Didn't expect that. Bye 
by five. Of course you got nothing. Fragger is dead. Do you? Shit. Really use your will skills. Oh, your head's disabled, isn't it? God damn it. Um Hmm, he's gonna heal more. All you need is one hit to die. God, I really thought I could get that hit and kill him. All set. Now, I think he has return fire. On the move. That might make the difference. He's gonna bleed out, probably. Return fire, yes! Is that the end? It's a med kit. You do. Bloody brilliant. Oh, this was a hell of an ambush. Turn fire. That's going to come through here. yourself a weapon. I wish I had thought to shuffle his weapons before. Against all odds, that slow motherfucker. Take you. Take you. Take you. Take you. All right. Get back up here. Set up an overwatch. This direction. Um, you. 
can sprint again. Shit. Okay. I can do it. Anybody? No? Okay. I think we're out. Can barely make it in there. Everybody out. Everybody out. God damn this mission. <laughs> Man, I've been playing for an hour. Holy crap. Alright, well, a bit of a longer one today. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. At least someone leveled up. See what the uh, if I get any loot from this before I turn it off. <laughs> Nope, we just survived. That's it. <laughs> All right, well, see you later.